Today I'd like to show how I make air spaced coils or air rounding inductors if you prefer. We start off with cable which I scrounge and we need to take the sleeving off of the cable. You could use a Stanley knife and run it down the centre of the cable but this will soon blunt the blade and it's thought with dangers, very inefficient and I have an aversion to blood especially my own so we will abandon that idea and I'll introduce my wire stripper it's a simple device there's two ball racers which are adjustable the widths of the cable the cable comes through a guide at the back which is slightly tapered and in the centre is a seesaw with a Stanley blade mounted at the end at roughly 45 degrees and I can adjust how far the blade comes down so that it just and only cuts through the sleeve. Then it's just a matter of pulling the cable through the device. It's very efficient, very simple and it's capable of cutting the sleeving from the cable at a phenomenal rate, hundreds of meters in a few minutes. It's only governed by how fast you pull the cable through the device. Now that we've stripped our cable, we end up with wire like so. It's got lots of kinks and bumps and it needs straightening out before we can use this for coils. It's at this point I would like to have shown you my wire straightening device. But the guy who borrowed it has yet to bring it back. So, um, it comprised of Jetarolis offset slightly that imparted different bends to the wire so as it was drawn through it straightened it. A simple alternative would be a block of wood with nails in and wind the wire in between the nails slalom fashion and draw the wire through. Crude but that will also work. We next need to wind the uh, wire onto some form of former so that we can produce a coil like so. Choose the size of former that's slightly smaller than the desired coil you want as there's a certain amount of spring back from this. Don't overstretch this or it won't go back into position. I had occasions to uh, produce a quantity of these so made myself up a wire straightener come coil winder at the same time which is now to follow. We now come to the plastic insulators that need to be drilled and will support the, the, uh, the coils. The coils are wound on these, about four per coil should be suitable. Uh, a quick word on types of plastic, there's many different types of plastic. Some are suitable and some are not suitable for RF applications. Best thing is to test some. Um, there's numerous tests you can do. Uh, a quick and easy one is to put a sample in the microwave oven with a glass of water. Give it a couple of minutes. If it comes out as cold as it was put in, it'll probably be fine for RF applications. If it melts, or is uh, soft and sticky, uh, disregard it. Use it for something else. I tend to find the darker plastics tend to be more problematic. I once made a trapped dipole aerial using black plastic 
and uh, it failed miserably very quickly with relatively small amounts of RF power the traps actually melted <laughs> oh well so you learn anyway having found the plastic that we think is suitable I cut these strips up on the bandsaw setting the, the fence over about three-eighths of an inch look and then put past the material through a few times and then I drilled them by uh, bulk drilling if you like I, I put many together put sellotape around them put them in the vise of the milling machine drilled a hole moved the, the table with a couple of turns of the feed screw drilled another hole couple of turns drilled another hole couple of turns drilled another hole and so forth until I'd got and therefore they're all evenly spaced if you haven't got a milling machine you can do this on a pillar drill or even a hand drill the simplest way perhaps of doing that would be to drill the first hole and then put a pin in a piece of wood snip the head off the pin or, or a panel pin and then drop the first hole over the panel pin and then drill your second hole in it and move it a long hole at a time until you come to the end of the plastic and you should be able to do a few at a time with that method Winding the coil is quite simple now. We simply place the first hole and pass the wire through. Go about a third of the way around the coil. Place the second piece of plastic on. Go a bit further on and move the first one further around. Go about a quarter or a third at a time. Now we come to the third piece of plastic. First hole again. It's a bit fiddly to start with but it gets easier and successfully move the pieces of plastic around the coil I'm sorry I'm trying to keep this in in shot at the same time the principle is like putting keys on a split key ring keep going round and round and round and round take your time do not be in a hurry to uh, or try to speed this up you'll end up with a funny shaped coil anyway this looks far more fiddly to describe on on camera than it is actually to do anyway go round and round and round and round take your time and you should end up with a coil similar to this um, this would make an excellent uh, aerial uh, matching unit coil um, for an L match uh, a tank coil for transmitter Tesla coils Pi network um, whatever your need for an airspace coil might be and, and being uh, not enamelled wire it's very easy to solder taps to anyway I hope you found that interesting thanks for watching